So today we're going to be attempting to remove rust via electrolysis. I have a bucket of water right here. Now let's get our electrode and anode, or cathode and anode. I'm thinking I might try to use this. Now this was buried in the ground for years where a barber shop was broken down and it was dug up whenever they were putting in a new water tower. Then we just need another piece of metal to be the, the sacrificial iron. I'm tempted to see if aluminium or graphite or things like stainless steel would work better. But for this instance, we'll just try to use iron for the electrode or anode, whatever. Now we're going to need a power supply to power it. And I think I know just the thing. Power supply from this old computer. Or not old, but it's actually newish, but... I'll take that out and that, that'll give us up to 24 volts of power. So now the only thing we need to do to turn this on is we take a paper clip and bend it out. And we connect a green green pin with a black pin. And there we go. Now we're going to need a contacting point so I can hook the power to this. I'll just grind away a little bit. And there we go. Just enough to connect it to. Well, that's kind of cool. It's actually acting like a battery. Let's turn it on. So it's taking about 160 milliamps of current. Let's, in let's increase the conductivity of the electrolyte by adding some salt. See, that's increasing the, the conductivity. I'll let that sit a little bit and see how much that goes after all the salt dissolves. Well, that increased it a little bit. Let's add some more. I would like to be pulling about 2 amps. Wow, look at that. It's bubbling quite good now. And it's pulling about 1.3 amps. This power supply can give 16 amps, so that's quite good. I could probably add a lot more salt. Actually, I think I will. I'll add it all. Oh, look at that. You can see the little black marks where the coating, or the, I believe it's zinc, is being etched away from the metal. And that side's bubbling nicely. I think I'll let this sit for a couple of hours and come back to it. There's still some chunks of salt in the bottom still dissolving, so that conductivity should go up even more. Well, it's been two and a half hours and a storm's coming in. So I'm going to have to move this, but it's looking great. Or so I think. Hmm. Oh man, it's starting to rain. Taking about 3.2 amps. Not bad. So it rained quite a bit last night. It dropped the temperature down. It's really nice right now. 
Let's see how it went. It's been about 25 hours. Hey. Oh, 4.4 amps. Awesome. It's a little bit different. Ew. Whoa! It's completely destroyed the bottom part. Let's go wash these off. I am extremely pleased by the results of this test. The electrolysis really did help a lot. You can definitely tell right here the line where the part that was cleaned and the part of it that wasn't clean. And even, even though I didn't probably go long enough and I probably should have gone a lot longer, well, even getting it this much cleaned makes it really easy to wire wheel it, as you can see right here. This only took like 35 seconds to clean that much. And the part that wasn't cleaned is still pretty dirty and will probably require a lot more effort to get it cleaned. I am very pleased by that. I think now we should probably try something that's a little bit less rusty. Something like this would do great. It's mostly just a bunch of surface rust on this. This will be the sacrificial piece of metal. And this will be the piece that we'll be cleaning. And I figure I'll try to clean this clip too, because it's gotten a little rusty. I'll try that. We'll let that sit for a little bit and see where that goes. So this has been running for about two and a half hours, but it's been pulling like 10 amps of power. So this is going a lot faster than before. Getting a considerable amount of grime building up in there. I so let's take it off and see how it went. These wires are getting pretty hot. And the sides of it, 114 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius. It's getting pretty warm. I'm very pleased by this. That's amazing. And once again, I ground it a little bit more and it came off very easily.
That's some wonderful results. Now, of course, it was very close, so only one side got uh, got clean because it was the side that, was, that had the least resistance between the two electrodes. But other than that, it was still pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya.